Hello everyone and welcome back to another die cast review. Today we have the Kobe tribute from good old Ryan Blaney. Now, I've already done a review on the 24, you know, William Byron. We'll be comparing those two paint schemes just, you know, because why not? They're both Kobe tributes. Personally, I really like the 12 better, honestly, just because it's got more detail. And I think the colors are actually accurate on this paint scheme compared to the 24. But I mean, honestly, that doesn't really bother me too much, but still, I think the Blaney one is the way to go. And it's got colored rims. Who doesn't like colored rims? I'm a absolute nut for colored rims, like on the Advanced Auto Parts for Blaney, loved it. Even the Logano, the Logano, uh, the Shell Pennzoil, that Logano paint scheme is always red wheels, and I like it. Even though it doesn't really change, I still like it. The body armor for Blaney, white rims, loved it. You see, like, you see what I'm saying? Just, just fantastic. I, I don't know why, but I really like colored rims. Now, some don't really go well with other paint schemes, but I feel like for the most part, like, for this, this one does. You got the body armor in white. You got the text in white as well, like, for Cup Series and Blaney. And just to add that little bit of white with the Cup Series logo and the NASCAR race car, which is a lighter color, not really white, but it kind of matches pretty well, or at least I think so. Now, honestly, I wish they did a box tribute as well. Like, with these two, the two Kobe tributes, I wish they did, like, a uh, custom box. That would have been really nice, especially for a tribute, you know, to Kobe. Or at least I would have if that was my option. I mean, I would have put it on all the diecasts if it was my option, but, you know, that's not really how it works. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this diecast review. There's a fly flying around. I don't know why. Can you get out of here? Thank you. So here's the die cast out of the box, and automatically I'm kind of seeing things I don't like. When I held the die cast, I put it on the on the table here. It has a wobble to it. Not a big wobble, but a slight one nonetheless. You can see some of that clear wrapping around the window. That's not very good. I can live with that, but that's not very good. And then we've got a little bit of a decal error. It just kind of overlaps onto the spoiler, and I think it goes over here as well. So yeah, not too worried about those. But I just, I really hope there's not a lot of mess ups on this die cast because it is a fantastic die cast. It looks really, really nice and it is a tribute after all. So I do hope this one turns out definitely one of the better ones. Now, anyway, honestly, I lost my spot because uh, there was a distraction. I heard something fall, what seemed like behind the building. And of course, I went to inspect and nothing was there. So I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm hearing things, but. I definitely heard something fall, whether you say so or not. I don't think you heard it, but I definitely heard it. I don't think I caught it on camera. But anyway, yeah. Either way, this paint scheme was just a fantastic and an amazing job, whoever designed it. And this also goes with the Alex Bowman Cincinnati car and with uh, William Byron, because I believe they all ran at the same track. I don't, I don't know if the Byron and the Blaney was ran at the same track. I think it was. But I know, of course, Bowman ran the Cincinnati scheme due to Blaney trying to run, like hold out his from his last pit stop he tried to hold it out you know to get the win but of course he couldn't do that and then Bowman was in second he took the lead and then ended up winning after Blaney had to pit now don't get me wrong this paint scheme would have been very very nice in victory lane but unfortunately Blaney just could not do it but anyway let's go ahead and look at this paint scheme as you can see, the pattern all over the diecast replicates scales, or a snake skin, because of course Black Mamba, that was, you know, the nickname for old Kobe Bryant himself, and that's just what they decided to do was a, kind of a skin, or not a skin pattern, but a snake skin pattern over the diecast, which looked really, really cool, and I like how that they did that. Now, on the hood you got body armor. And you got the three different flavors. Uh, I like how they have purple and then yellow. That's that's cool. I didn't even notice they did that. You got Pennzoil and Ford right there. Ooh, you got some two little paint specks right here on the grill for whatever reason. And it looks like you got this headlight. It's a little wonky. You got a little paint chip there. And then you got a little paint chip there as well. 
So right away, it's not looking too great. Got a shifted. I don't know what you call that. It's like the like the bottom grill. I don't really know what that is. I don't know. I think that's the actual grill, and this is like just like the grill uh, decal. I think that's like the bottom ones is like the actual one, but I don't remember. I don't have any team logo there for whatever reason. I uh, don't know what happened to that, but got a little bit of paint issue. You can just barely see it, but it's there. I promise you. Lincoln Welders and Sunoco. That's kind of wrapped around the fender. That's always nice. Got it over here as well. Got that purple splitter. That's really, really good looking. Got the white rim right there, or the white wheels. A little bit more paint issues. Got a uh, kind of a diagonal, almost had skewed, a, like a diagonal screwed up NASCAR Cup Series logo. NASCAR race car, got the 12 there. Menards with a wrinkle in it. That's always nice. Body armor, Dex imaging, nothing on the quarter panel. Got Ford. I don't remember what that one is. I still can't get that in my head for whatever reason. PPG, Mazak, and Discount Tire. And excuse the white on my hands. That's for, uh, or that's from painting. I did that earlier. So we're here on the back. Got Mombon3.org. I did this in a weird order. I just realized that. Mombon3.org. Got the 12. And the Ford right there with the Mustang taillights and the yellow splitter. Got the 24 and the number 2 with the snakes. Going around, of course, again, goes back to the nickname. I really like how they did it. That was pretty cool. Got the 12 up here. Got the fade from yellow to purple, which looks really, really nice. Got a purple outline on the 12 as well. Got Ryan Blaney. And, yeah, it's, it's pretty much it for the scheme. But, I mean, honestly, definitely the better Kobe tribute scheme. I don't know why they didn't run Brad see if they could do something with him because if you of course you got the two and the 24 on the back or on the deck lid because the two would have been for brad or good for brad i guess and then the 24 was for william byron now i don't know much about was okay it wasn't for byron but it being 24 on the deck lid and byron having a tribute match is what i meant to say i know the 24 is not for byron specifically but again i explained a little bit in the byron tribute to review about how much i didn't really know about bryant himself but i knew you know about what happened i was on my way home from texas roadhouse i remember exactly because i was listening to music i had my beats on right and i was just looking at my phone then i got a tweet or just a tweet notification it said kobe bryant you know killed in a helicopter incident and i'm like oh no there's no way and then i started looking at it i'm like wow that's real that actually happened so yeah, it was a good day up until that point. That was kind of, you know, kind of sad. I wish, obviously, that didn't happen. But that happened, like, what? January? And I think the tribute schemes are ran in February or March. I want to say February. But I don't remember. Honestly. This, this, I don't remember the schedule, honestly. That's my reason. It was like the third race until the year. So it may have been February? Early February? I don't remember. But anyway... Yeah, definitely a fantastic paint scheme. Now let's go ahead and compare it to the 24, which would be, of course, William Byron. Now, again, I definitely like the 24 a lot better than I do... Oh, wow, I said that wrong. I like the 12 a lot better than I do the 24. Driver-wise, I'm still a Blaney fan more than I am a Byron fan. I'm just... I mean, I'm not really a fan of both of them overall, but I like, I like Blaney better. He's got a pretty good personality. He's a good kid. So, yeah, uh, definitely... I like the 12 a lot better. It's more detailed. It just, it looks so much better. There's so much detail and so much design, and there was actually a lot of work put into it, and it just, it looks fantastic. Don't get me wrong, both are very, very great paint schemes. Do not get me wrong on that, especially for it being a tribute, but this, I just I like this, I like this one so much better. It's just, it's a lot more detailed. You got the colored rims, which I'm a sucker for. It's just, it's so much better, in my opinion. Just, it looks fantastic. I, you know, obviously I wish that didn't happen to Kobe. It's just, it's such a tragedy. Now, again, I wasn't really affected by it because I wasn't really a fan of Kobe. I explained that in the Byron review. If you want to, uh, you can go check it out in the link in the description. I'll just link it anyway so you can kind of hear my opinions and thoughts on Kobe Bryant. Now, again, I'm not going to say, oh, I love Kobe Bryant because, you know, I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, this person passed away. Time to become a super fan. You know what I mean? Like, that's not, that's not who I am. So... Yeah, I didn't really know much about Kobe Bryant. I just know he was a fantastic player. Uh, you know, I knew what team he played for and whatnot. I just, I didn't really 
Well, I wasn't really a fan of him because I didn't really watch the sports. But anyway, either way, no matter who it is, it's still a tragedy. I hate lives being taken, whether it's by themselves or somebody else or just an unfortunate incident. A life is a life to me, honestly. I don't care, you know, what you look like, what race you are, what you believe in. A life is a life no matter what. And of course, this one hit the hearts of people all the way around the world. So, yeah, very, very unfortunate and very tragic. But, I mean, you know... It happens. It's 2020, and it's it's probably going to get, you know, a few more. I say we have a few more celebrity passings this year. I don't want that to happen, but I have a feeling there's going to be, like, one or two, maybe, like, one, like, one super big, um, either an actor or an actress or, you know, just whatever. But hopefully that doesn't happen. You know, the love of God, I hope that doesn't happen. But, I mean, you never know. It's just one of those crazy things. It's just you never know what's here until it's gone that's really what it is and it's just it's so unfortunate but anyway i'm going to go ahead and end this video here and not get into a depressing state but anyway so yeah thank you all so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed and i'll see you in the next video